Hi, in this video I will change the rear brake pads on my 2013 Mercedes CLS. Stay tuned. Hi, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of content. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications so you don't lose any of the new content. This is my 2013 Mercedes CLS shooting brake W218. As I will show in the next clip, the check uh, padware warning pop up every time we drive the car. So I was inspecting and I saw that the rear brake pads are really, really thin. Uh, the front ones are already thinner than, than usual, but uh, I believe that it's the rear one that is uh, making that, uh, that warning. Uh, so today I will change the, the rear brake pads and um, if the error goes away, then we'll drive the car some more kilometers and when the front uh, warning pop up, then I will replace the, the front brake pads and I will do you a new video uh, to, show, to show you guys uh, the procedure to the front ones. So, uh, as I told you, don't forget to subscribe to the video and activate the notifications so, you noti so YouTube can notify you when I upload the, the new video. Let's now go inside the car, check the, the warning to, for you guys to see what happens, what pop-ups and uh, how can you, we access in the menu uh, to check if we have that, uh, that warning. And uh, right after, let's go to the, to the car, to the rear of the car and uh, start to, to, to change the brake pads. I will start by showing you what happens when I put the car to start and I drive it for a little bit. Here you have it. Check brake pad where. You can now press OK and the warning go away. And it is just a warning. You can access to the menu going to the left until you reach the, the service menu. And as you can see, you have one message. If you open it, it's the exact same one. Let's take care of this. As usual, you start by removing the wheel. <laughs> Not like that. Now, let me show you guys here a close-up of the, the brake caliper and how this will, will go. So we need to pop this retaining spring here. Then we need to remove the, the, the sensor from this plug here. You just need to push it. And then we have here in the back the, the rear part of the sliders that they have uh, uh, an allen key inside so we can take these covers pop these covers out like this you see this came right off just like that and then we undo the, the sliders and then the brake caliper came off It has this kind of hooks that uh, that uh, hold it on the on the hole. So just push this back and then out. Now I will just disconnect the sensor. Just push it out and it is free. This cover I took it already when I show you. Now I will take the upper one. Now with a seven millimeter Allen key. It just came to the sliders and undo them. Show you there the slider moving. You see? When I undo it, for me, they are both free with a screwdriver, if you can push them out 
from the sleeve here. See, they are out. We will lubricate them in a moment. No, it's really simple because all the assembly came out of the way. You can put it here to the side. And you have the outer brake pad right here. You see how thin it was already? The outer one, it's right here in the carrier. And the inner one stay attached to the brake caliper with some springs here. You can just pop it up out like this. And it is off. The inner one, bring the sensor with, the, with it. And it is cut here, you see? This is what make contact with the, um, with the disc and uh, light the warning inside. To retract the piston on the caliper, there are specialized tools for this. I don't have any, I just use this, this clamp. That it is really handy, that I adjust here. And now I simply thread it and push the, the piston back. So if the piston is not seasoned, it should retract with uh, not that much force. It should go it should go back smoothly. So the piston is retracted now. I will uh, just uh, scrub this, all this dust and all these, these parts. I will clean them a little bit before I can uh, apply some lubrication and install the, the new brake pads. surfaces scrubbed and clean, I will apply a light coat of, uh, of copper grease. Usually I don't go crazy with this, I just put a light coat. Now let's also put some, some of these grease on the sliders. You can also use some kind of uh, greasing spray like this, a light coat, it will work perfectly. Push it here, front and back. Now we are ready to put the brake pads in. Remember, you have one with a spring and the other one without spring. The one with the spring goes on the brake caliper itself, on the ca here, near the piston, clips on the piston, and the one that don't have the, the spring go outside here on this channel that we clean it and apply the loop. So let's put it inside. Like so. And now we are ready to put the brake caliper in place and align the sliders and bolt them in place. You don't need to over tight the sliders, just give them a good snug and they will be fine. Okay, don't forget to put the, the covers on because if you don't put them, the next time you came to, to do this job, you will have a surprise because the Allen key will be, the Allen bolt will be full of debris and it will be hard to, to take it. The job is almost done. 
we need now to insert the wear sensor. I hope you guys can see it good. There is a hole on the brake pad where you need to insert that, that pin in that hole right over there. So you push the hole and you insert this metal clip on the, on the brake pad itself. So it's pretty easy. It just clicks in. The connector simply came. And it has a position. It has two, two little tabs that must go vertical and click in. Like this. The, the wires are uh, like hard wires. Usually I push them like this, arrange them like this to be out of the way and don't get contact with the, with the other stuff. Now we are ready to attach the outer spring and we'll be done. Now the spring, it should be really easy. You put uh, one of the sides and then the other. Just clip one like this, then push it here and in. Just ensure that it sits okay and it is done. To end the job, you just need to replace the wheel. This was the video for today. It's not a hard procedure. We just need a 7mm Allen key and a flat screwdriver and that's it. No more tools involved on, on, the, on this. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, remember that soon enough we will have the front ones to, to change. So I will, I will link the video on the, on the description. I didn't change the rotors. They are a little bit worn, but I think they will be fine for now. The next, in the next change, I will need to change the rotors also. You can check our projects on the YouTube channel. We have some cool stuff. And also you can follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. I will leave the links here in the description. We do maintenance jobs like this and also uh, maintenance on the motorbikes. Uh, I am restoring an uh, old car. I am working on the track day car. I will soon start a really nice project for the track car. So follow us, subscribe to the channel and uh, comment below what you think about uh, we do and uh, with some suggestions. We always like to hear uh, from you guys. So see you in the next one. Bye.